Today I'm doing a review of webcam settings from the Mac App Store. Hi everybody, it's Vincent. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use webcam settings for the Mac. You've got things like manual. Uh, this is just a different mode. You can also set it to auto. In this case you can't because it's been locked. But you can use the white balance temperature down here or you can use one of your pre-saves. So I got one for Skype that makes it look real good. You can even select that to load at startup or you can use what I call the main which I have selected to load at startup. You can go back over here in the advanced section of the app and you can adjust things in some cases if it's available which this camera doesn't allow. Uh, focus, you can you know turn off autofocus, you can zoom it, you can pan, you can tilt, uh, you can do anti-flicker. Um, and so you can do a lot of stuff. Now, I'm going to actually open up Cam Twist here for just a second, and I'm going to show you what the webcam looks like when it's in use. So let's see, I believe it's camera two. Uh, yes, it is. And now I'm just going to go. Now, I usually use the studio, but I'm just showing a preview of the camera. So here is a preview of the camera. I had to move away from my pro mic, so it's not going to be as loud. But as you can see, this is a uh, most view of the mo pro camera. Now, I'm actually going to give you some more. Let me move this just a little bit here, and then I'm going to do this. I could have done this in. A screen flow. I decided not to though. And what you're going to do, let's say I wanted the white balance to be different. Let's say I wanted an auto. I don't know if I move my hand or something, events I can get it to white balance. Now let me just show you what white balance looks like. I can always reset this, but it's not, it actually looks a little bit bright anyway. So let's, so you can tell that as you adjust it. See, the white balance is just about right, right here. That's about where I had it. Uh, you've got things like that. You've got the brightness, you've got the hue. The brightness is a little bit bright. Let's go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. Right there is pretty good. You see what I'm saying? This is a live demonstration. Sharpness, we can adjust that. Just sharpness a lot. Put it back about where it was. Can't adjust the hue in this case. Uh, you can't adjust exposure time, things like that. So I'm going to lower my exposure time very slightly. The gain probably should be lower just a little bit because we are getting a little bit too bright. And that right there is just about the perfect shot. So now let's say I wanted to save those current settings. It's the best. The best. Hit load to start up. Now next time when I uh, activate this camera and the computer, it will load with these exact settings. So I think that gives everybody a great example of what this program can do. And it can do more than that. It's also, it definitely works with the built-in FaceTime camera. And with that, you've got some more features. You can, you can adjust the gamma. Uh, there is still no autofocus on this one. You can do backlight correction. You can do a lot of different stuff. Again, I do have one set as main. This is what I use for the, the settings of it. Not really going to show that off today, but that just kind of gives you a, a, a some information on how to use this program and what it's for. This program is only a couple dollars in the Mac App Store and is a great product, uh, a piece of software. And so I recommend that everybody goes out and at least gives it a try, especially if you're using webcams on a regular basis for different things like Skype and stuff.